Hey guys, welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 3, Part 2, where we are going to be simplifying expressions. So, I'm going to actually have you start off with this warm-up of eight problems. So, go ahead and do these eight problems in your notebook, pause the video, and answer a couple questions, and then unpause the video for some answers. All right, so here we have the answers for one through eight. If you got any wrong, write the correct answer and highlight or mark that number so that you can then bring it to me for some extra practice or if you have a question on it. Let's move on to simplifying expressions. So an algebraic expression, a ex math expression with letters in it, an algebraic expression is in simplest form when it has no like terms and no distributive property no distributive property and no like terms so no distribution and no like terms there is a very specific order in which we simplify first thing we distribute we always distribute first if you can distribute if you if you know if you can if it has it and then two we combine like terms if, if there are any. So all of this is if they have it, if it has it. So, oh, that was ugly. Okay. So distribute if you can, combine like terms if it has any. But what's important is that if the expression does have the distributive property and like terms, the order does matter. You must distribute first and then combine like terms. So let's take a look at some examples. So the directions say to simplify each expression. So when you're simplifying, you should be thinking about distributive property and combining like terms. And the order in which you do it matters. You must distribute first, followed by combining like terms. So does this problem have the distributive property? Yes, it does. It has it right here. So let me take care of that distribution. So multiply 3 to x and 3 to minus 5 to make minus 15 and then write down the rest of the problem plus 8x plus 1. So now we've taken care of the distributive property. Next we check for like terms. I've got like variable terms of 3x plus 8x to make 11x and I've got like constant terms of minus 15 plus 1 to make minus 14. And that's as simple as that's going to get. So it went from this complicated looking expression to this simpler looking expression that mean the same thing. All right, so let's try number two. We have the distributive property right here. So we have to take care of that first. So five times n, which is five n, plus five times six, which is 30, bring down the minus 21. So we took care of the distributive property. Now we check to see, do we have any like terms to combine? We do, we have like constants of plus 30 and minus 21. So that's 5n plus 9 because 30 minus 21 is 9. We can't do anything else because 5n and 9 are not like terms. All right, so let's take a look at number 3. We do have the distributive property right here. You can locate it with the parentheses and the outside multiplier really easily. So we're going to distribute that negative 7. So negative 7 times w is negative 7w. And then we should be thinking negative 7 times a positive times a positive 4, which makes negative 28. So negative 7w minus 28, that's our distribution, bring down plus 2w and minus 15. So we have distributed. Now we're going to combine like terms. So we've got two sets of w like terms. So I should be thinking negative 7 plus 2 to combine negative 7w plus 2w to get negative 5w. Next I'm going to be combining minus 28 with minus 15 to get minus 43. And that's as far as I can go since those two terms are not like terms. Now I'd like you to pause the video and try number 4 on your own and then unpause the video so you can check your answer. So after distributing the 12, we end up with 48 minus 12k, bring down the minus 9k, and combine like terms of minus 12k and minus 9k to get minus 21k. Let's move on to a few more examples. 
So there's a lot of problems on this second page, and you're eventually going to do all of them on your own, but I want to do with you numbers 9, 10, and 13. So let's take a look at number 9. Number 9, at first glance, doesn't look like it has a distributive property, but because of the parentheses, it should indicate to you that it does. And your outside multiplier is that minus sign. Not the 18, but the minus sign, because the minus sign is right next to the parentheses. So I'm going to do the distributive property first by distributing my negative. So I end up with 18 minus 7v minus 1. Remember that the outside negative changes the signs inside. Outside negative is changing his sign and his sign. So he went positive, now he's negative. He was positive, now he's negative. The value, 7 and 1 didn't change, but the signs did. So. Now that we've distributed, we are going to check for like terms. I've got a like term of 18 with minus 1 to make 17 minus 7v, final simplified expression. So now let's jump over to number 10. I like to highlight my distributive property so that I can focus my eyes there first. So find your parentheses and your outside multiplier. Well, there it is. There's my parentheses of p minus 4 with my outside multiplier of negative 6. Your eyes should be only here and only distributing. So let's distribute negative 6 to get negative 6p plus 24. And it's plus because a negative with a negative times a negative, sorry, makes a positive. Now that I've completed the distributive property, let's drop down the other pieces of the problem that we're waiting patiently. And now that we've distributed, it's time to combine like terms. So I've got a like terms negative 2p and minus 6p, which will make negative 8p, plus 24 and 22 to make 46. And that's as simple as that expression will get. And last but not least, number 13. Sometimes when we simplify, we have to actually distribute twice. And you'll see that on some of these that we actually have to distribute twice. So let's go ahead and distribute the eight and then the minus four, so let's do the eight first. Okay, so let's distribute that eight. Eight times two K, that's 16 K. Eight times minus seven, that's minus 56. Minus four times K is minus four K. And minus four times positive five is minus 20. So we literally distributed out the whole thing to end up with this expression. Now that we've distributed, it's time to combine like terms. 16k minus 4k is 12k, and minus 56 minus 20 is going to be a minus 76. And that's as simple as that is going to get. So what I'd like you to do now is complete the problems on this page while answering the questions along the way and then pa and pause the video so that you can then check answers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here are the answers for the problems you were assigned. Make note of any ones that gave you a hard time and be sure to ask those questions at the end of this video. Thanks for watching Simplifying Expressions.